Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Avro, and I now going to continue with the last lecture which I was doing on transformers, uh, part of electrical machines. So I'll continue with that numerical which we left on my uh, last videos. Now I was continuing with the numerical that I will continue now. That is uh, 230. Uh, 230 by 460 volt transformer has a primary resistance has a primary resistance uh, what is the resistance value that is of 0 0.2 ohm of 0 0.2 ohm and a reactance of 0 0.3 and a reactance of 0 0.3 ohm uh, this is 0 0.3 uh, yeah I'm sorry it is uh, 0 0.5 uh, this is a mistake I made uh, 0 0.5 ohm and the corresponding value and the corresponding value corresponding value for the secondary This is the secondary uh, windings are 0 0.75 and 1 point. The secondary windings are one is 0 0.75 ohm and 1.8 ohm. 0 0.75 and 1.8 ohm. What is the total voltage drop in secondary? So what is the what is the total voltage drop in the secondary winding what is the total voltage drop in the secondary winding when supply when supply 10 ampere at 0 0.8 power factor lagging and 0 0.8 power factor leading 0 0.8 power factor leading. So I wrote the total uh, full uh, questions here. Uh, so first of all we have to take the all the data. So what are the given data? So whenever we are getting a question we have to find take the given data. So what is the uh, what is the number of turns that is uh, uh, it is given what is the number of turns k is equal to uh, n2 by n1 n2 by n1 so that is 460 i will just uh, direct calculate 460 divided by 230 is equal to 2 k is the number turns to now the primary resistance primary resistance is r1 r1 we just uh, take as a value 0 0.2 ohm r2 uh, sorry is the x2 x2 what is the uh, 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 second no sorry primary reactance that is 0 0.5 ohm 0 0.5 ohm now we take the values that is the secondary winding the secondary winding uh, resistance uh, r2 is equal to 0 0.75 ohm and the secondary reactance is given as 1.8 ohm now we have to just put the formulas to find what is the current given over here our current is 10 ampere now we just put the formula to find what is the voltage drop in the secondary winding when the supplying current is 
15 ampere at zero point is power factor lagging. So the voltage drop, voltage drop uh, when the power factor is 0 0.8 power factor uh, lagging. In the 0 0.8 power factor lagging, I will direct put the formula over here that is uh, I2, this in the secondary, uh, this is the secondary winding, that is why I will take the current I2 into uh, the we now put the value and that is uh, R2. No, this is the uh, cos phi 2 cos phi plus x, uh, x2. This is the secondary, sorry, this is R02 and x02 sin phi 2. So, this is the formula. Uh, now, what is R02 and X02? So, we have to find this value. Then we can put the value of cos phi 2 and sin phi 2. So, now we have to find what is cos phi 2 and cos sin 2. Now, uh, cos is nothing but, uh, it is given already in the equation 0 0.8 and we have to find the value of sin. So, cos phi 2 is 0 0.8. So, what is the value of sin phi 2? Sin phi 2, sin phi 2 is equal to root under 1 minus cos square phi 2. So, we just calculate over here root under 1 minus 0 0.8 whole square. If we just calculate, uh, we can directly calculate root under 1 minus 0 0.64 that is root under 0 0.36 that is uh, sin phi 2 0 0.6 so cos phi 2 is 0 0.8 sin phi 2 is uh, 0 0.6 now we can put the value here now what is r02 r02 that is the reactance in the secondary winding we will find the value of r02 r02 is equal to uh, where is the value of r2 mm this uh, we can calculate directly that is r2 plus k square r1 now we can put the values what is r2 over here r2 is 0 0.75 0 0.75 plus k k is the non tan n2 by n1 it is 2 that is 2 square into r1 where is the r1 r1 is 0 0.2 R1 is 0 0.2. If we just calculate uh, 0 0.75, that is 2 square is equal to 4 into 0 0.2, that is 0 0.75. Uh, 4 into uh, 0 0.2 is uh, 0 0.8. 0 0.8. If we just calculate, we will directly get the values as uh, uh, that is our resistance. 0 0.2 and uh, this is 0 0.75 it will come as 1.55 now similarly we will calculate the uh, reactance reactance is formula x02 is equal to x2 plus k square into x1 so now we just put the value what is the uh, reactance uh, x2 x2 I uh, just wrote the value 1.8 1.8 k will remain same that is 2 square into what is the x1 what is the primary reactant 0.5 now we can write 1.8 plus 4 into 0.5 that is nothing but 1.8 plus 2 so if we just calculate that will come directly as 3.8 so now we have to take these two values r02 x02 just r2 plus k square into r1 we have put the values and x02 x2 plus k square into x1 so we have put the values over here and we have got the value x2 and r2 and sin phi 2 uh, we have uh, we have the value of cos phi 2 that is the power factor 0 0.8 we have calculated the value sin square phi 2 plus cos square phi 2 is equal to 1 so sin square phi 2 is equal to root under 1 minus cos phi 2. So we have got the value of sin phi 2 that is 0 0.6. Now I am going to calculate final the 
voltage drop. I'll just take the value over here. What we got R02 value. R02 we have calculated as 1.55, 1.55, and X02 we have calculated as uh, 3.8. Now I'm going to erase this part. I'm going to erase this part to get the more space for the calculation part. So here we go. Uh, now I'll just put the value of I2. I2 is uh, 10. That is already given in the question. R02 what we have calculated that is 1.55 into cos phi 2, cos phi 2 we have the value that is 0 0.8 uh, plus x 0 to x 0 to means uh, what we have calculated 3.8, 3.8 into 0 0.6. So we have to do the calculations with the calculator. So if we do the whole calculation 10 into 1.55 into 0 0.8 plus 3.8 into 0 0.6. So we have to do all the values, so calculations uh, using calculator. So I am putting the directly value is 35.2 that is in uh, come in the volt. So this is the voltage drop at 0 0.8 power factor uh, lagging. Now I will calculate the voltage drop voltage drop at 0 0.8 power factor leading that is also in the secondary term. Secondary Turns. So the formula will remain same as this is leading. So this will be I2 R02 cos phi 2. This is leading, so it will be just minus minus x02 sin phi 2. And we'll just put the values that if the I2 is already given 10 ampere and R02 we had calculated earlier that is 1.55. And the cos phi 2 that is already given in the question that is 0 0.8 into uh, minus x02 that we had calculated earlier uh, 3.8 into 0 0.6. So we have to do the total calculations. So I am giving the direct answers that is minus 10.4 volt. I hope you have understood how to calculate the voltage drop in the secondary terms. So if they ask the question in case of primary, we have to find the primary, we will put here primary I1 and, uh, and in this case also I1 and we will just calculate the same thing but we have to put the uh, primary and resistance and the reactance. So I hope it is very easy, now I am going uh, for the next question, so I will erase this part. I hope it is now clear to you how we are calculating the voltage drop as well as the current in the primary terms and the current in the secondary terms. Now I will uh, go towards the next questions. That is also very much important for the semester as well as the competition part for the electrical engineering and energy engineering and energy management part. So now I will go to the next questions. That is very important. That is. A single phase 50 hertz transformer, a single phase 50 hertz transformer I will take the next part of the question has a full load secondary current as a full load secondary current now what is the secondary current value that is of 500 ampere of 500 ampere the primary current being 1 by 5 times the primary current the primary current is 1 by 5 times the of the transformer uh, of its value of its value now the transformer has the following parameters 
the transformer has the following parameters the transformer has the following parameters that is uh, we have to just take the values that is already given in the question that is uh, 0.6 ohm that is the primary resistance second resistance is given as 0.03 ohm and the primary reactance value is given as 2 ohm and the secondary reactance value is given as 0. 0.06 ohm so what is the next part of the question if the secondary is short circuited if the secondary is short circuited if the secondary is short circuited find the primary voltage find the primary voltage Uh, find the primary voltage require uh, required to circulate full load required to circulate the full load current so this is the question uh, so this is the overall question uh, we have to just uh, given the value primary resistance, secondary resistance, primary reactance, secondary reactance. Uh, the secondary voltage is already given, secondary voltage that is uh, 5, uh, so, um, sorry, this is the secondary current. Secondary current is given as uh, 500 ampere. So we already know the primary current will be 1 by 5 times of its value, 500 by 5, that is 100 ampere. That is the primary current. So these are the values given. So this uh, this is the equivalent circuit. That is the resistance R1, X1, and these are the reactants uh, X1, and this is the reactants X2. So just well done. R1, R2 dash, X1, and this is X2 dash. So this is the current we are flowing here, and this is the, the secondary winding has been short circuited now this is the vsc this is the being short circuited now we have to current the short circuit uh, secondary winding has been short circuited we have to find the primary voltage required to circulate the full load current so this is the equivalent resistor, uh, circuit diagram and the current is going from here i want so this is uh, we put it this is as r01 and this is as x01 x01 so i'll just write a formula in short what will be the value of r01 r01 is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by k square and x01 will be is equal to x1 plus x2 by k square we are going from uh, the primary term and earlier sum was regarding the secondary now we'll just put the value of r01 and x01 uh, r1 we know r1 0.6 plus what is the r2 0.03 by k square so what is k k is uh, we have already calculated k is equal to n2 by n1 so that is already uh, 1.5 k is already 1.5 so we'll just put the value 1.5 square so if we just uh, calculate this so we will get as 1.35 1.35 ohm we have to just calculate now same way we have to find the reactance what is given is 2 ohm plus what is the x2 that is 0 0.06 0.06 divided by 1 by 5 square so we have to just uh, calculate this value so if we just directly calculate it will come as 
3.5 so you have understood how we have calculated r01 and x01 so uh, now we will find this z01 z01 is nothing but it's just uh, like a pythagoras theorem we will calculate r01 square plus x01 square so now we will uh, put the value of r01 and x01 that is 1.35 whole square plus uh, 3.5 whole square 3.5 whole square if we just directly calculate uh, just using the calculator we have to calculate it will come as 3.75 so i hope it is now easy we have calculated r01 x01 then we have found the value z01 so now vsc so we can find the vsc vsc v is equal to i into r that is current i1 into uh, that is we have found z01 z01 i1 is nothing but 100 we have calculated earlier i1 and that is z01 is 3.75 that is 375 volt so i hope you have understood uh, this is the uh, full formula we have calculated and now uh, you can also calculate yeah, we can add one more uh, question here calculate the power factor if we if they tend to calculate the power factor power factor is nothing but cos phi cos phi is equal to r by z it is just uh, so we'll uh, we'll just put the values uh, r01 by z01 and we can directly put 1.35 divided by 1 uh, 3.5 1.35 divided by 3.5 if we just directly divide this value that is 0 0.36 that will come in like so i hope uh, this uh, you have understood the uh, whole uh, numerical how we are solving the earlier values earlier uh, calculations we did for the voltage drop and this we have done for calculating the resistance and the reactance and the short circuiting of the secondary how we have calculated the voltage across the primary current and also we have calculated the power factor so i hope you have understood you have liked my videos thank you please subscribe my channel thanks for joining have a great day T till next time keep on studying thank you very much